Taylor Swift and White Horse on 1021 WDRM with Dan and Bingo 757, three minutes before 8 o'clock, and we've got a real life Harlem Globetrotter in the studio with us, and I grew up watching the Harlem Globetrotters. They've been around longer than I have, if you can believe that, Bingo. Yeah, well, I can believe that. I mean, I don't know about that before. I mean, I think you were shooting hoops on your high school team when they were still using a peach basket. Yeah, whatever. But, no, okay. I remember as a kid, it was a big deal. My dad, you know, and the neighborhood kids would always go watch the Harlem Globetrotters with Metal Arc Lemon and all those guys, right. Bill and Neil, and man, it was just one of the coolest things as a kid and one of my best memories. So, honored to have you in here with us, man. And, Thank and you for having me. And his name is Mumu. We I know. Yeah, Mumu, it's great to have you here for sure. You went to Troy State, didn't Yes, you? yes, right down the road. So, I enjoyed every year I was down there. But you're uh, from Memphis originally? Yes, yes. Yes, I'm, I've been traveling ever since I was little, so traveling is not a big deal to me anymore. Right. Look at the, he's got the warm-up suit on. That wow. is so cool. I want one of those bad. I mean, you got to make the team to get one. Right, though. right. you got to put in uh, you got to put in a lot of time to get one of these and the shoes and everything that comes with the uh, glow charts. But once you make it, they make you, they, they keep you looking good. You know, I asked Mumu off the air a little while ago about how you go about making yeah. a team. And uh, I know it's not easy. They put you right. through a grueling, uh, I guess, I mean, uh, audition, it, basically. Yes, yes. And it, they, you know, once, once my uh, trial was started, uh, it was about eight guys, and I was the shortest one. And next thing you know, about, well, the next day, it was down to, like, three guys. And then by that weekend, it was down to me and another guy from Nashville, and they pushed us and pushed us and pushed us. So they said, we, we we're not going to break in front of that Sunday. They both they gave both of us a contract, and we were on Globe Charters. By that Monday, we was going our separate ways. You know, we kind of stayed in contact with each other. And it was, it was a great experience because, you know, having somebody that you kind of, um, not no, but no. With with them being from Tennessee, it was like you know that, that helped both of us out. So it was a good experience. Huh. Just curious. I mean, obviously you're a great ball player, but are you finding it more rewarding probably being a Harlem Globetrotter than possibly being in the NBA? You think you're enjoying that more? Yes, yes. I I, I love every bit of it because you know we give back to the um, community all the time. And, you know, the NBA, we're affiliated with the NBA now, but we do a lot more, you know, in-school things and, you know, go to YMCA's and give back to the community a lot. You know, we're, we're very touchable. All of our stars go out. So we really don't have, you know, a star on the team. Everybody considers superstars on our team. So when, when a Globetrotter goes, that's a lot of fun. Well, you know, and you can picture Harlem Globetrotters hugging kids, but you don't picture the NBA guys going up and giving a kid a hug. I'm right, right. And, we, you know, it's, it's always a big deal about, you know, giving autographs. We, I mean, it's for us, it's just like an everyday thing. You know, everybody has an experience or, or you know, a, a memorable um, experience of being with the Globetrotters. You can't get that from, you know, going to a – uh, an NBA game sometimes. You know, I always wanted to be the guy in the audience that they picked out. There's always some sort of audience right, participation right. thing, and I never got to do that. But from what I understand, and we're going to get to this in a minute, Dingo has been picked, selected to be on the court and play some basketball when the Globetrotters come to town a week from today. I've been known to, to toss the rock around, man, so I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if you're going to bring your A game, but I probably would. That's all I'm saying. We, have, we right. always bring our A game. You may, you may want to be, bring your A-plus game. Because we're going to be ready. <laughs> Talking some smack. I'm loving it. We'll get back to this in just a second. Moo Moo from the Harlem Globetrotters with us this morning. It's Dan and Dingo, WDRM.